for school. Can there be a more heart-wrenching sound than the peal of that first morning bell? ay 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 that noise sure comes close. Hey, hey, what you doing with that mutant chair? It's a desk, too. I'm moving it into your classroom. You know, for the new kid. There's gonna be a new kid? Well, how about that? My friend Gus, the new kid no more. Wait a minute, guys. If I'm not the new kid, which kid am I? Uh... Hey, I know. How about the scaredy kid? Well, I suppose that's a possibility. Help! Mommy! <laughs> Looks like that one's taken. I got it! What about four eyes? Four eyes! Right, never mind. Bad idea. I have a suggestion. How about the child formally known as the new kid? It's accurate and inoffensive. So many words. Hey, how about just Gus? Yeah, yeah Gus. That, that sounds okay. good. Well, that's that. Now let's get inside and meet this new kid. Just Gus? <sighs> Say hey, Gus. Looking sporty. What's with the cap? Well, I was thinking. Just Gus is kind of a boring nickname. I thought maybe I could be Spiffy Kid. You know, Spiffy Kid, you just might have something there. Yo, Gus, you got toilet paper on your shoe. Good morning, people. As you can see, I have a special guest with me today. His name is Jope Halverson, and he's come all the way from Norway to enrich himself with us for a week. Everyone say hi. Hi. Now, as you can see, Jope, we've saved you a special place in our class. <laughs> hi. Now, I'd like someone to volunteer to be Yope's guide this week. Someone to show him around the school. Be his buddy. How about you, Gus? You were our last new kid. Will you pass the torch to our new new kid and show Yope the ropes? Hey, that rhymes. Sure, Miss Grokey. I'll volunteer. Wonderful. Hey, Gus, that's one to consider. The show and Yope the ropes kid. Huh? Huh? <sighs> this is the playground. It's sort of the ground where kids, you know, play. So big, so new, so American. Yeah, we like it. Hey, Goose, this yump and ropes, the ropes you were showing me. Um, actually, yo, showing you the ropes doesn't mean showing you ropes. It just means showing you new stuff. English is one tricky tongue by Yemeni. Yeah, well, I'll run down the major playground landmarks. We have the lunch area, the basketball court, Randall. Goose, that funny-looking kid is blocking the Randall. That is a Randall, anyway. Miss Finster, come to at the main sandbox. Repeat, come to at SB1. The funny-looking kid is Randall. He rats on other kids to Miss Finster. Stay away. He's trouble. I bet to write down things what you say. Randall is trouble. Wish I'd written that down on my first day. Okay, now there's old Rusty. Bet Sure is some fine younger yim, and consider the defensive military applications. Oh, I already have. You know, there's plenty more fantastic stuff to see at Third Street School. You must be yoking. Nope, yep, I'm not yoking. The two of them just dig, Yope. That's what they do. We don't ask questions. I think I need a drink. Yope? Yumpin' Yemeni, that could have been Yop. Thank you, Goose, for saving me. Oh, it's okay. Just a reflex. But how did you know about that booba trap fountain? I used to be the new kid around here, remember? That trick has been played so much on me. Well, Yope, I'll tell you. The fact is, I have an almost superhuman ability to sense trouble before it happens. Most sacred mackerels. But I tried to keep my special power secret. You understand. I gotcha, you bet, Goose. This here's the kindergarten area, Yope. These little chairs are trouble. Let's keep moving. Boy, these here kitties really think you are something there, Goose. What can I say? Word spreads. Okay, now we chant. Bonky, bonky, bonky. Boy, oh boy, oh Goose. I'm seeing now that you are the hot kid at this here school. Hot kid? Hmm, hot kid. As a matter of fact, that's just what they call me. I'm not just Gus. I'm Gus the hot kid. So, Gus, you and that yoke guy seem to be getting along pretty well. I'll say. Uh, I mean, I'll say this. It's a struggle. There's that whole language barrier thing. Brutal. Gracious, Gus. You shouldn't have to handle a difficult cross-cultural situation like that alone. We can all pitch it in help. I appreciate that, but I'd rather spare my friends the trouble. I mean, recess is meant to be enjoyed. You guys go play. I'll babysit the new kid. Hey, hey! 
goose in the house. Hey, yo, um, keep it down to a dull roar, huh? Tell me, hot kid, why inside a block of wooden cheese do we meet? Well, it's sort of my own private hot kid clubhouse. Yeah, that's it. I unwind here before a busy day of being hot and junk. I can dick it, head good. Head good? That is how we in Norway would say this nickname you got. Hot kid. Who's the head good? I like it. And notice this. I have shortened my trousers in the fashion of current American hipness. Yeah, you're getting there, Jopmeister. <gasps> you calling me Jopmeister? Well, what are we doing next? I figure we just kick it here in the Het Gut Club till school starts. Sounding cute, Het Gut. Norwegian guy discovered the South Pole. I pick Gus. I pick you. Anybody up for a little American kickball? That there sounds like some fun. Uh, sorry guys, we're kind of busy. Come yo, you, me, go now. Didn't sound like much of a language barrier to me. Yeah, the only kid I'm having any trouble understanding lately is Gus. Very be hurting too, head good. I want to teach you a great new game. First, you hide in the janitor shed. Uh, Gus, what's going on? Where's you? We're playing hide and mm, go fetch. Some loopy foreign game you guys would hate. Gus, forgive me, but you seem to be in over your head here. Are you sure you don't need any help? Thanks, Scratch. But it's no use letting him wear us all down. His questions alone drive you nuts. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, but if you change your mind, we're over on the ball diamond where we belong. Ball diamond. Check. Got it. That was fun. Let's play something else. Set their tetherball, Goose. Let's play that for a while. Yo, my sir, let Head Gut tell you about tetherball. It's all eye-hand coordination. The basic idea is to... <laughs> Did that on my first try, too. He's good. Oh, boy. Hey, yo, why don't we quit while you're ahead, huh? Well, looky here. Another sucker for me to beat a tetherball. Listen, Lawson, yo, Pierre's from Norway. He doesn't know any better. Ha! Huh. Well, he shouldn't have been on the court if he didn't want to get creamed. Hey, Diggers, there's a game going on here. Sorry, guys. Lawson's challenging the new kid to a game of tetherball. Lawson and Yope going at it? Please, yo, there's a crowd gathering. Let's get out of here. Put a bow tie in it, Grizzworm. The kid says he's playing, he's playing. Just one game, okay, yo? Then we really gotta get back inside the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, one game's all it'll take. Now off the court. <laughs> How the heck do you know tetherball so good, kid? Tetherball, it was invented in my country. Wowie, zowie, that kid is hot. Why don't you know a thing about your own school there, girly? The hot kid around here is Mr. Goose. <laughs> Chris Wolf, a hot kid. I love this guy. Hey there, Gus. You okay? Yeah, now. Lawson finally took Mr. Study Visa off my back. Sheesh. Turns out he's a pretty cool kid, huh? I heard. The new kid is now the hot kid. Big deal. They're all just crummy old nicknames anyway. Um... On a brighter note, Miss Grokey is throwing a farewell party for Yope on Friday. There's gonna be a sheet cake. Everyone's invited, Gus. Hey, sounds great. I'm there. Well, Gus, we were gonna play some kickball and wondered if you maybe later. I'm fine in here for the time being. Party smarty, like Yope would even care if just Gus showed up. Fare thee well, Yope. It's nice to know we'll always have a friend in Norway. Thank you, Miki. This has been one of the best weeks of my life. By the by, where is my friend, Mr. Goose? He's been spending a lot of time out in the cheese box, Yope. Feeling kind of crummy. About nicknames, mostly. Nicknames? Children, let's gather for picture time. I want to be closer to the hot kid. Hot kid? Okay, kids, just say cheese. No! Huh? Oh, hot? They don't like cheese in Norway? You, Meister! I mean, oh, it's you. Why aren't you at the big party? I don't have any more nicknames for you to steal. You mean like new kid and hot kid? Yeah. I'm just Gus now. Not a nickname you or anyone else would probably want. It just so happens my best North American friend is named Just Goose. Best friend? Really? Yeah, you showed Yop the rope when nobody wanted to be Yop's friend. Well, I know how it is. I used to be the new kid myself, and there's something I should tell you. I made up the whole head gut name. No, Goose. That was a name I gave you. To me, you will always be head good. Really? Sure thing. Now come on, let's go get ourselves in that their picture. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I'm gonna miss you, too.